What is going on guys? Brian or Mr. Creations here today. And today's video, you guys probably do recognize the gameplay. It's actually the gameplay of the first video I upload on TSG or Thunderstrike Gaming. I upload this like February 18th, 19th of 2014, my first video on TSG. And I got about 750 subscribers off of this gameplay slash video on TSG. So you guys probably do recognize the gameplay, but nonetheless, I never uploaded it on my personal channel, so I figured why not. I'm kind of running it well on Call of Duty Ghost gameplays. I got like 25 more saved up, but after that, I'm I'm done with COD Ghosts. I'm not playing the game actually currently right now. I've been playing a lot of Modern Warfare 3, kind of, kind of waiting to uh, to get either GTA in September or I'm, I'm trying to decide whether to get it on next gen or not probably will wait until September and get it on next generation console and uh, I'm just right now waiting for destiny and the division and watchdogs and everything like that just so you guys know watchdogs destiny and the division those games are in a way somewhat similar but I'm gonna be getting all of them for the Xbox one and I will be doing um, commentaries over those games and campaign walkthroughs on them those are the games I'm going to spend the most of my time with in in 2014. Probably not so much on the Call of Duty game. I'm not going to the midnight release of Sledgehammer's Modern Warfare 4 or whatever it's going to be. Um, I just haven't... I'm, I'm not into that game. Uh, the previous three Call of Duty's release, if you guys don't know, Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty. I ended up getting that on Christmas. I was a Christmas noob. Um, but... Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and Call of Duty Ghost. I pre-ordered all those games and went to the midnight releases of them. And I'm just not caring to go to the midnight release for this Modern Warfare 4 Sledgehammer game, whatever it's going to be. Uh, to be honest, I could not give a shit about that game. I haven't seen anything from it, so I can't tell you if it's going to be good or bad. But a uh, wise choice would probably be, or a wise guess, I should say, would probably be that it would be kind of a sack of shit. But anyways, this host migration right here in the background, I know. Uh, but nonetheless, I've been seeing a lot of videos on wish lists for, for the next Call of Duty, so I'm going to do one myself um, right now. The thing I want most to return is Connection Bar. I, I want to see 1 to 4 bar. I don't want an invisible Connection Bar where I can't see when I'm lagging and not lagging, when somebody on, is on a 4 bar and I'm on a 3 bar. How to know why they're beating me in gunfights. Is it Connection or are they just better than me? Uh, on and on and on basically things like that so I want to see connection bar return that's the biggest thing I want to see happen uh, another thing is ground war that needs to return to uh, last gen and next gen I think it should be on both consoles it's just a stupid selling point by infinity ward to do that um, smart for them money wise not smart pleasing fans wise but anyways moving on to the next thing which is gonna be pro perks please for the love of God bring pro perks back to Modern Warfare 4, whatever the hell it's going to be called. We'll just call it MW4. Um, please bring pro perks back to Call of Duty. All these, like, 36 perks in COD Ghost. I personally think it's a really stupid thing. I think there should be pro perks, probably just like they were in Modern Warfare 3. They're easily obtainable, but not... The, they're not the easiest thing to get, but you'd have to play, like, four or five games and you'd have a pro perk. So, Modern Warfare 3 balanced pro perks out perfectly well, in my opinion. And that brings it more down to like 15 to 20 perks instead of like 30 to 40. That's just ridiculous. There's no need for that. And gun balance. I think what they need to do is they need to make SMGs and ARs the the best thing to use in the game. Like it was, if you guys don't remember in Black Ops 1, ARs and SMGs were the best thing to use in the game. Snipers and shotguns actually took skill. Well, shotguns were basically just sacks of shit. They weren't worth anything really. Snipers actually took skill. The L96A1 got a hit marker half the time, so you'd have to shoot them twice, and quick scoping in Black Ops 1 was not simple at all. It was probably one of the hardest Call of Duties for quick scoping, but that's just me. Uh, pro perks, bring those back, cut down the perks in half, put back a connection bar in the game, and make ARs and SMGs the prominent guns in the game. That would get me to play the next Call of Duty again. I would definitely be doing that. But anyways, nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy the commentary slash gameplay. If you did, remember to leave those likes. Let's try and shoot for 50 like usual. And subscribe if you're new. It would mean a lot. I really would appreciate it very much. And thanks for stopping by, everyone. If you stuck around, I will see you guys in my next video.